in this episode, see how Instagram is starting to turn into business. I think you can speed up that part mm-hmm. up until I start speaking again. This is where I'm gonna put music. Yeah, yeah. Here you can cut all of the communication except thank you very much okay. from Starbucks. And music the whole time. And obviously music all over that whole part. You can cut the audio on this and just fast forward this. You could take this whole. Um, this whole thing, rip, take the audio out, mm-hmm. fast forward it to probably eight, nine hundred times speed, you know what I mean? And then, uh, add music. Add music, and then when it gets to here, then stop. You can cut. You know, you understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And you, you can cut this whole thing. I don't need any of it. So, like, up until the, the, the it actually posts. Okay. And then, like, so that fast-forwarded, no audio but music. Yeah. Yeah, we cut this whole, whole thing. And then you could uh, stop and that back to work right at the end. Yeah, speed up, pull the mu- pull the audio track, and lay music. So, so far you can cut everything from just, after just getting going to this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can cut that whole scene, matter of fact. That's probably one video, right? Let's just do it right now. No, wait, let's make sure we do the right one. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Perfect. You should put like a thumbs up, Damon. Yeah, <laughs> thumbs up, Fubu and Puma. <laughs> Ding. You get a a thumbs up for that. <laughs> so this, you can speed this whole thing up because this is gonna take a, a minute. I can yeah. imagine. And then we shot the outro last night. Yeah. Okay. So I think we cut out like yeah. a good amount. Yeah. Well, take that. Take this. up to 30th Street right now to go show an apartment that's not even on the market. So the building we're heading to right now, I got connected with the owner through Instagram, through DM, and um, he reached out and said, you know, listen, I, I see you've got some similar product to a building we have here, and I want you to come take a look at it and let me know your thoughts. So about a month and a half ago, I went to the apartment and it was in a a, like raw construction zone. I actually made some suggestions about moving some walls, which he seemed to agree with. And uh, I now have a client that would possibly be interested in, you know, checking this out. And it's not even finished yet. So I I don't know what I'm walking into. It's been a month and a half, so it should be almost done at this point. But uh, let's see, you know. This is one of the variables you don't know in this business, is what you're walking into, especially when construction happens. So, yeah. But one thing that I think is really important to understand is this came through Instagram. This is a relationship with a new landlord that didn't exist because of what I've been doing for the last two years on Instagram. And listen, I'm not great. Like, I'm, I still got a long way to go, and I'm so looking forward to the journey that's continuing, but you know, the fruits are starting to pay slightly. Just gotta keep doing it, period. You know,
know, the last couple of days, it's, it's uh, been a little humbling. I've been getting a lot of messages from a video I put out called Rebound, Rebounding from the L. Rebounding from an L, I think it was? From an L. And um, put some paid advertising behind it, and the response has been incredible. Like, I, I'm getting six to ten messages a day now from people saying, shit, like, I really just needed to hear that. It made a big difference. And here's what I take from that, that anybody can do this, you know? It does help, yes, that I have a video guy recording me, 100%. But I've been, I did this for a year and a half, even longer before I hired him. So, like, just speak your truth. And if you've been through shit and you can talk to it from a different level, that's, that's what connects with people. Because nobody really, very few people are true. And I, from my heart and soul, believe that authenticity is one of the most undervalued and underrated things that you could be rocking with right now. So, what do I know? So a weekend, Brandy. How do you think we're doing? I think we're doing great. I'm very happy with uh, week one. We obviously have some, you know, workflow things that we're working through and just figuring out. I think overall it's working well. Yeah. And I think it'll just continue to get better. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 incredible. It's funny the looks that people give to you as you're like, what? When you pay attention to like people walking by, I'm like, who the fuck is this guy with somebody following him with the camera? But again, this is New York, so it's like, this is every day here. If we were in like Hobunk, Idaho, it might be a different story. I hope that's not a town somewhere. Hobunk. We might have to edit that out. We could Google it first and see if Hobunk, Idaho. Idaho is a town. I was just creating a new state there. It's like a mixture of Idaho and Iowa. Idaho. We should save shit like that for like blooper reel. Yeah, because that could be like a one minute video. Right, 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 right. All right, guys, I can't take you with me, unfortunately, right now, because this is off market and this landlord doesn't want us filming in the building, but I'm gonna see if I can't maybe bring you back later. Let's see. All right, I gotta give this back to you. I'm heading to uh, Brooklyn right now to go pick up that laptop. So we, uh, we'll get it all set up as well. We'll get rolling. All right. All right.